on its first day of school was September the 11th. He had an EA assigned to him during the classroom period and then transferred to another EA to supervise him during recess. The EA was instructed to hold Ahmed's hand throughout the recess period. The EA stated that she held onto him tightly and he twice tried to get away. On the third try, he did get away and ran to line up to go on the slide. When the kindergarten teacher saw the student was not with the EA, the teacher ran over and asked where the student was. The EA replied that she had let go of the student to allow him to go on the slide. However, the student was not at the slide and couldn't be seen. The teacher immediately alerted the other playground supervisors to look for the student and describe what he was wearing. As recess ended, staff continued to search for the student and the principal was notified. The teacher also called 911 to report that the student was missing. A search of the adjoining park and residential area was commenced by staff. The student was found unresponsive in the water of the pond, approximately 100 meters from the school playground. Two staff members attempted CPR on the student until emergency responders arrived and took over. The student was transported to hospital where he was pronounced dead. And she saw uh, Ahmed at the slide. She was then distracted by another student that she had previously worked with who came up to her on the playground and asked for a hug. Uh, and, and that's uh, the moment that the, the kindergarten teacher came over. There were a number of uh, parents in the uh, community who approached the administration after the, the drowning. But what they wanted to know was that the school knew their child, uh, that they understood the needs, and that they had planned effectively uh, to meet those needs. When they understood that, they uh, understood that uh, appropriate plans were uh, put in place. In terms of the ability to comment on uh, individual personnel issues, I think that's pretty standard. All of the recommendations, or the three that pertain to the city, have already been considered in the, the city's um, comprehensive review of Storm Pond. So there's nothing surprising from our perspective in those recommendations. Um, the recommendations primarily focus on improving education, uh, looking at the future development um, of ponds in new areas, as well as assessing the need for barriers around existing ponds. So all three of those are addressed in our recommendations that we brought out to the community earlier this year and we'll be presenting to City Council next month.